A tropical penal colony in French Guiana may seem an unlikely setting for a Christmas story, but that's where Bella and Samuel Spiewak have set their play My Three Angels on Christmas Eve in 1910. The Spiewaks find delicious irony in the contrast between three of the convicts, the three angels of the title, two murderers and a forger, and the others. The others are Felix Ducotel and his wife and daughter. Felix, a mediocre businessman at best, has been set up in a shop in the penal colony by his wealthy cousin, Henri Trochard. Trochard had manipulated to his own advantage Felix's failure in his previous shop in France, and now he's coming to Guiana to check on his various investments, including the little shop. With him is his nephew, Paul, who back in France had enjoyed the daughter's infatuation with him while returning little of her affection. The three convicts have been hired to make repairs to the Ducotel's roof. Discovering the family's dilemma, they descend from above on Christmas Eve to set things right. Joseph, the forger, corrects Felix's messy books. Jules, a lover of domesticity, who strangled his wife when he surprised her in bed with another man, arranges a fine Christmas dinner for the family. Young Alfred, a playboy who murdered his stepfather when the old man refused to pay his debts, has a pet snake whose venom also comes in handy when Alfred takes a protective interest in the daughter. Greg Jeffery's set for the recent Alpha Players production on the large Florissant Civic Center stage looks rather spacious for the backroom residents in a struggling shop, but it's furnished with several farce-friendly doors, Alicia Brooks' period props, and Barbara Lange's period and tropically, comically inappropriate costumes, and it's given the village's sounds by Pamela Geppert, all under Jessica Fleeman's warm tropical light. Directors Tanya Burns and Sharon Kotner and their cast use the space well to tell the story clearly with good comic timing. George Lewandowski plays Felix Ducatel as a simple sweet soul, perhaps a little too bland. Dorothy Labounty gives his wife Emily more intelligence and spunk, which are badly needed in this household. Delaney Jones gives full measure to the contrasting emotions sweeping over the love-struck daughter Marie Louise, full of lovely promise. The three angels make nice contrasts. Carl Brockmeyer delights in the smooth salesmanship of the forger Joseph, the senior of the three angels. As the home-loving Jules, Thomas Stone bustles about preparing the Christmas dinner and consoling the troubled. Nathan Johnston radiates youthful ardor as Alfred, the youngest, but with the style of a man of the world, and he's irresistibly drawn to pretty Marie Louise. Jim Bradley's Henri Trochard lacks any human feeling but greed. He has a sharp tongue and a sharp eye that never sleeps. Antonio Vaki gives Trochard's nephew Paul an equal lack of human feeling and a rich boy's superior nasty smirk. Christine Newport has fun as Madame Parole, full of elevated airs, stern disapproval, village gossip, and a large bill owed to the shop. Joseph smartly takes her down several pegs and gets the money. Jack Ryan Petty is a handsome young lieutenant, a consolation prize for Marie Louise, and Jim Melcher is heard outside playing Christmas carols on a harmonica. My Three Angels does not pretend to profundity, but it's a solidly constructed, consistently entertaining play. And if the angels do not get wings when the shop bell tinkles, they do bring a pleasantly amusing evening to a happy close. Yes, they do. It's a fine play, and this was a fine production. Indeed, indeed.